So it's all been pretty challenging for us lately um, and it's particularly challenging for those charities. Now one of the charities which in involved in GB Snow Sports is the Ellie Souter Foundation. Now the Ellie Souter Foundation is something which is really close to my heart. Ellie was an athlete who I used to train with. She was a snowboarder, I was a skier, um, but very talented athlete and unfortunately took her own life on a rotated birthday due to, you know, mental pressures and things like that. Now, her dad, Tony, and their family have, it's unbelievable what they've done. They've flipped it on its head and he now wants to alleviate those pressures, what Ellie had as an athlete and support those athletes um, and support their families financially with mental health, support and everything what he can do. I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic foundation and they've done so such great work over the last few years. Um, but we were lucky enough to catch up with two of their young athletes, Maisie Potter and uh, Charlie Lane. And we asked them exactly how the foundation was helping them out. So first question really, um, I'll, I'll ask kind of you, Charlie, um, what does the funding from the Ellie Souter Foundation, like what does it really mean? Um, it helps provide me with the opportunity to like stay out in the mountains because it's obviously so expensive to stay out. And it's a struggle for my family, like my mum and dad are working really hard to try and keep me out here. So it's it's kind of a relief as well to get the funding they give me. Maisie, maybe you can you can tell us how it sort of helped uh, in, a, in a financial way. Yeah, it's helped me in loads of ways, like not just financially as well, but also just that contact and that backing of pushing for me. So it's not always me going to someone. They can go to someone for me. I in Morsing, they've um, sorted me out like a gym uh, and a, ma a massage and physio. So it's also just having that um, contact. What's your goal for, for the next two years? Oh, my goal is to go to the Olympics next uh, February in Beijing. Um, and obviously I don't want to limit myself on where I have to train or how many days on snow I need. I want like as many as everyone else that's fully funded, you know, like I don't want to disadvantage myself. So all these, uh, all this financial backing just means I can uh, do as many days on snow as everyone else. And Charlie, what, what about you? I mean, what, do you think there's anything that you're doing right now, like literally right now, that, that the foundation's helped you with that you may not have been able to do without that? Right now, I probably wouldn't even be here without the foundation. Like, right. wow. also being abroad, I'm, I'm away more than I am. I'm, 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 I'm like abroad more than I'm in England. So with the funding they give me, it's... um really helped with my training and I can progress way more with the funding. Yeah, good luck to you both. We'll be looking out for you and uh, and definitely excited to see your progress in the next year or two. Oh, it was great to catch up with those athletes, Charlie and my old teammate, Maisie. Um, and it's great to see actually firsthand how much of a difference a foundation like that can make. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, without the foundation support, Maisie and Charlie just wouldn't be able to, you know, their dream of getting to the Olympics uh, wouldn't, wouldn't happen.